Izo bachu kuzagamba vinge, abo kuwa na beti hindi ni mazo. Maybe nyesha kare nenda kuwa tunjira mani kandi nevi gamba vyo kukamba. Kukeisha timbi ni mazima. I'm only glad that I've been very well represented. And much of what I would have said about Mama Jolie has been said. It's a tough, tough time. God help us. Um, however, I talk about two things. And these ones hurt me very, very deeply. Number one, we have not been able to accord Mama Jolie a farewell that we felt she deserved at our headquarters because for us that's the least we could do as a party. But unfortunately, as God put it, she passed away from Barara and it was not practical for us to drive her body back to Kampala and then back here in relation to resources and other logistics. But again, this one had even worse that we decided to improvise and at least be able to accord her a befitting send-off as human beings, as Africans, Nkabantu. But again, like you also, the police, in a very humiliating way, denied us the opportunity to send off our mother. It is painful, very painful. But I know that such and even worse moments are what we have to endure to get where we believe we have to be as a nation, as a people. Personally, I want to salute the family. Thank you very much for giving Mama Jolie to us. Thank you for trusting your most treasured possession with us, even with the propaganda and the terrible name that has been put on us. You entrusted your mother with us. We, we, we really hope that the time we've been with her, we did not misrepresent her. We also want to thank you for being a pillar of strength, especially in this time when she was sick. It was so sudden, very sudden, when we were informed that Mama Jolie had been rushed to hospital. I asked the Secretary General to come and see the situation. As soon as he reached, he called me and said, Mama Jolie is in ICU, intensive care unit. Grove, immediately, unfortunately, she couldn't recognize me or anybody that was there. But thanks to the strength of her son, my brother, Dr. Mujisha, these doctors have a way of giving hope even where hope is bleak. Like all doctors, he gave us hope. Ah, Nazakubaji, Tolaba Kakati, to Genamujako, we know. And I left feeling very energized. And I think that kept me going for some days. Before we traveled out of the country with the Deputy President, Dr. Lina Zedriga, she came to visit her. And she also acted like the doctor. She gave us so much strength. Told us, ah, even cold, and she moved her hand. So we left very hopeful. It's very unfortunate that just after the first engagement that we were having, we were driving back from Liverpool to London, and then we got the terrible news. 
the shared pastor. That's why we immediately made plans to come back. Although we have been humiliated, even in our demise, we are glad that we are here. We thank God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is hard. Please pray for us. Because personally, honestly, I don't know. But I trust God. And I know He creates a way where there is no way. Maybe God will show us what next to do because we don't know now. We don't know. There is this Grinyankole song that I like very much. Every time I'm confused, I like to sing that song. It brings back faith. It goes like this.